How's it going guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Dan here with another Falcons film breakdown. Today we're going to be breaking down the second half of Chris Lindstrom, uh, the right guard out of Boston College, uh, drafted 14th overall in the first round by the Atlanta Falcons in their what I would call per, um, preventative drafting or uh, pre preventative maintenance basically. Um, not to say that offensive linemen are not wanted or um, fantasized about, but offensive linemen are usually not a very sexy pick. And for the Falcons picking two offensive linemen in the first round, this begins the process of that preventative maintenance with their offensive line getting older, um, having so many people that they have to replace, or uh, just dead ends along the last couple of years of guys that they've been able to pick up. Peter Kahn's is a name I know comes up in many, many circles. But before I get straight into this video, I wanna say thank you to all of the new viewers that are coming through, as well as all of the grounders that are currently subbed to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys, and thank you for coming and tuning in again. And if you're new here, thank you uh, for, for taking your time out of your day to take a look at this video. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell. Um, Chris Lindstrom on the right here. First two plays were away from him. Not a lot of impact that he had on those plays. But we're going to go ahead and have this particular play after the fake punt. Uh, Chris Lindstrom on the right-hand side here. This is the first negative or major negative play or learning experience critique that I want to make on Chris Lindstrom. And that is Chris Lindstrom doesn't need to bait himself out of a play. Um, the defensive tackle here does a great job of baiting Chris Lindstrom into coming forward so that he can then swipe those hands away, uh, do a little swim move and get into the backfield. And you're going to see Chris Lindstrom panic and go back. And we're going to run this live twice and then slow once. So Chris Lindstrom on the right-hand side, whoop, there goes that little fake to the, to the outside. Kind of pushes him right out of the way. Um, back to that play again, Chris Lindstrom. Uh, he just commits too much to... That defensive tackle just commits too much to the defensive tackle and allows his body to be pushed more to the inside, allowing a very quick and easy, quick uh, uh, move to the outside of Chris Lindstrom's right arm. Um, and that opens up a hole for this defensive tackle to be able to get into the inside. One more time for you guys so that you guys kind of see the play as it is. Boom, Chris Lindstrom, right hand side, bam, over commits. And he's going to need to be patient. I think Chris Lindstrom, as a patient guy, as a patient offensive guard, is going to do wonders for this team. But this is just one of those moments where he gets baited, uh, where a tackle looks like he's not going to commit. Chris overcommits, and then boom, the tackle comes through. So I'm only going to run this play once because the angles, unfortunately, and to get it right exactly where I need it to be um, for the for the play to restart over again, just unfortunately just doesn't line up very well. So if you'd like to um, rewind the tape and actually um, rewind this play on this video a couple of times, you can see it. But i uh, going to mark out Lindstrom for you. And this is how you wash out a guy. This is how you properly wash out a guy. Um, and this is what you want to see from Lindstrom. This is exactly what you want to see. Lindstrom makes contact, begins to wash him out, push him right out of the play. Ryan's able to step into the pocket. Unfortunately, the left-hand side of the line wasn't able to hold their end of the bargain, but the right-hand side was able to wash everybody out. Lindstrom was that extra guy to wash out that defensive tackle and put him out. They had no chance of getting to Ryan, and Ryan himself then didn't see anything open down the field, scrambled for a couple of yards uh, going forward. So honestly... That's exactly when you, what you want to see from Chris Lindstrom every single time. Proper technique of engagement, proper technique of, of going through the flow of traffic, and then before they can cut back and go the other way, completely turn their bodies and push them into their own players. If you want to see some hard nose blocking, like you want to see some O-line porn, that's, by the way, that is trademarked by Vach Lombardi. Go check out his channel in the, uh, in the card above. Uh, thanks to Vaj Lombardi for coming through uh, on my last video and coming to check it out with me. Um, Chris Lynch, I'm going to highlight him out here for you. Watch this transition from first level defender 
two second level defender and we're gonna take it easy first and then we're gonna play it in full speed so here we go Chris Lynch them at the top of your screen there go to engage with the tackle first uh, begin his move towards the right hand side then engages with the linebacker so now he he is let off of his guy and he is now on to the linebacker Mac is now pushing your guy in the back and then continues to drive forward with that linebacker pushes him to the ground pancakes him and then boom your running back runs forward again full speed now Lindstrom connects with the defensive tackle connects with the linebacker and then opens that hole enough so that that running back can gain those extra yards so this is going to be the final play of the Chris Lindstrom part two of the preseason and everybody's gonna go but lieutenant dan you said that you were going to do the jacksonville game do you even know what my next film breakdown is going to be do you even know come on come on the man plays the man plays in the next game and he plays with somebody that i'm going to do a film breakdown on and and, and you know what how how about how about how about y'all just watch the next film breakdown huh that's what i thought Anyhow, uh, touchdown play by Edo Smith. Chris Lindstrom is going to get the lead block here. And after watching the Jacksonville game, since McGarry is not playing in this game, I kind of got to see what the two look like when they're kind of playing together and what they do with the gel. In this particular instance, it's Gano. But to watch what they do here kind of gives me a good idea of how this might particularly work. So I'm going to say this with confidence, that what Gano is doing McGarry is already doing or was doing at the collegiate level and is doing well the following week against Jacksonville and will probably be doing for the next 10 years as a Falcon. But hopeful, hopeful thinking and wishful thinking there. Let's get back to the film breakdown. Uh, Chris Lindstrom on the right hand side here. He's going to engage with the defensive end or excuse me, defensive tackle. The initial engage is what looks to be an outside run. They're going to cut it and counter. And because that counter happens, the defender swings his arm over to take the edge so that he can block that off. But now that you've done that, you've allowed Chris Lindstrom to do what he does best, which is completely take you out of a play if you engage in one area or you commit to one area. And if you overcommit or you commit to one side, Lindstrom's going to find the angle and put you out of the play. And in this particular instance here, Lindstrom opens up that hole and is able to get Edo Smith to slide back through and in for a touchdown. Let's look at that one more time. Again, full speed. Contact with a defensive tackle here on this play. He tries to swim outside and completely takes him out of this play and opens the hole for the cutback lane inside for a touchdown. Chris Lindstrom is going to be a problem in the NFL playing with Alex Mack and Caleb McGarry. That right-hand side of the line from center to right is going to be tough, stout, incredibly hard to uh, run defend on, and will need some time to adjust as pass defenders um, try to come after the ball. So as, as pass protectors, these particular guys, McGarry, Lindstrom, it's going to be critical for them to get on the right track, not rushed, but learning at the right pace so that by mid-season, week eight, week nine, these two are both starting and you have McGarry, Lindstrom, Mack, potentially Carpenter or Brown, and Jake Matthews. And I can't think of a more solid line right off the top of my head when I'm talking about offensive lines than what the Falcons are putting together. Youth, experience, and guys who are playing at Pro Bowl level. It really doesn't get any better than that unless every single one of your picks was a first rounder. Wait a minute. Hold on. Anyway, point is, thank you for joining. I really appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you hit that like button, the notification bell, hit that subscribe button. Um, go into the comments section. Tell me what you think the next film breakdown is going to be on. Tell me who you want the next film breakdown to be on. Um, also in the comments section, tell me what you thought of the film breakdown. Um, if you didn't like the video, hit the, the thumbs down. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, rise up, stay grounded, take it easy. And if this video reaches 200 likes, I will... Hmm. I'll make a Matt Ryan video. How about that?
Uh, Matt Ryan week one. We'll do a Matt Ryan video, good or bad. 200 likes on this video, and it will be a Matt Ryan video. Peace, hair grease, rise up, and stay